On-site sewerage facilities are approved systems for the treatment and disposal of sewage and wastewater in toilets, bathrooms, kitchens and laundries on your property. The common types of on-site sewerage facilities are septic tank systems, aerated wastewater treatment systems or AWTS, composting toilets and holding tanks or pump outs. Septic tank systems consist of a tank that breaks down the solid waste through a natural bacterial process producing primary effluent. This effluent is discharged directly from the septic tank into the soil by pipes and trenches in the land application area. The contents of a healthy septic tank should form three layers. Lighter waste such as fats and oils float to the surface and form a scum layer. Solids settle to the bottom of the tank and form a layer of sludge and after a settling period the effluent in the centre will flow to the land application area. The land application area generally consists of a distribution box connected to slotted pipework which is embedded in disposal trenches. Here the effluent is released into the environment by absorption into the soil, then through transpiration up through the grasses and evaporated by the sun. There are two common types of septic tank systems. The all-purpose septic tank is a single tank which takes both black water from the toilet and grey water waste from the bathroom, kitchen and laundry. An older type of septic tank system is a septic tank with a split grey water disposal. The split system has two tanks as well as a grease trap. One tank takes toilet waste only and treats it through the septic tank. The other tank collects grey water in a separate pump well where it can be surface irrigated over the lawn or garden. These systems are not approved anymore, but are still in use. The grease trap is often installed between the kitchen sink and the septic tank. The purpose of the grease trap is to collect grease, oils and fats from the kitchen sink, preventing them from being carried over to the septic tank. Grease traps are not always installed on septic tank systems as it depends on the size and type of the on-site sewerage facility. Aerated wastewater treatment systems, or AWTS, are also sometimes known as Household Sewage Treatment Plants, or HSTP, and treat all household wastewater. These systems can have either one large tank or two smaller tanks, producing secondary or high quality effluent by processing the wastewater through five stages. Stage one is an anaerobic treatment and removes bulk solids, similar to a septic tank. Stage two is aerobic treatment, where a large volume of air is pumped into the chamber to promote the growth of aerobic bacteria. Aerobic bacteria efficiently and quickly break down and consume the remaining waste products. Some systems use electric pumps and air blowers, and some have an external in-ground sand filter as part of their treatment process. Stage three is clarification, or settling of the remaining suspended solids contained in the wastewater. Stage four is the disinfection of the effluent. Effluent can be disinfected by using chlorine, ultraviolet light, or ozone treatment before being discharged to a land application area. Stage five is pumping the effluent to the land application area, usually with surface or subsurface irrigation. It's important to check when surface irrigating that the effluent is not being sprayed into the neighbor's yard, onto the children's play area, near a swimming pool, dam or waterway, or coming into contact with edible plants. You should also ensure that ponding of treated effluent does not occur. These systems require regular servicing by licensed service personnel. Composting toilets are a primary treatment system. There are two types of composting systems, wet and dry. Wet composting systems usually incorporate worms into a chamber that receives all the household waste. The treated liquid effluent is of a similar quality to septic tank effluent and must be disposed of in a subsurface land application area. The dry composting process uses natural processes such as bacteria, oxygen, ventilation and dehydration to break down the waste 
to a crumbly and odourless matter, with the separated liquid effluent draining to a land application area or through an aerated wastewater treatment system. Holding tanks, or pump-outs, are another type of system. These consist of one or more tanks which store wastewater and primary effluent until it can be collected. The regular removal of waste is conducted by a licensed liquid waste contractor and is transported to Council's sewerage treatment plant for treatment. We've now covered the main types of on-site sewerage facilities identified in this region. However, there are other types of treatment systems available. These include reed beds, mounds and wetlands. If you want further information on this section, please go to the technical data sheets on this CD. You now know the types of on-site sewerage facilities. The next section takes a look at how you can maintain your asset so that it continues to benefit your household, the community and our environment.